Are you just like me and have decided to live a keto lifestyle? I'm nothing like you. Are you also a degenerate like me who likes to have the occasional adult beverage on the weekend? <laughs> Well, when you have enough adult beverages, you tend to have absolutely no willpower, and most people in that point are gonna call the nearest pizza place, so how about we just make a keto or low-carb pizza bites? It's super simple, and I'm telling you, it's insanely good. You better be right. So, you can do it in two different ways. You can use pizza crust, or you can just use cheese and toppings. I prefer the cheese and toppings, but a lot of you might prefer pizza crust, so let's do it both ways. So, if you wanna go with the pizza crust method, this is also gonna add an hour, maybe even over an hour to your recipe time, because you have to mix all the ingredients for the pizza crust, put it in a bowl, let it rise for an hour, and then put it in the actual pan and let it sit for 10 minutes. So it adds an extra hour and 10 minutes to your recipe time, which is something you should probably be aware of. If you're already drinking and you decide to make this, there's no way you're gonna wait over an hour to eat it. You're gonna end up eating the ingredients like a savage. So just stick with the non-crust version, but I'm gonna show you both anyway. If you wanna go with pizza crust, there are keto pizza crusts available. Here's one from King Arthur. It's keto wheat pizza crust and it only has one gram of net carbs per serving which is pretty low but again anything you add to this recipe that does have at least one or two carbohydrates in it is going to increase the overall carbohydrates obviously so you choose which one is right for you and I'm going to explain another big difference between going crust and not crust later on in the video so stick around I'm going to leave I want to leave so one is let's get some ingredients together so we're going to use cheese obviously we're going to use mozzarella and parmesan we're also going to use pizza sauce and if you can find the lowest carb pizza sauce possible Possible. I prefer this Rouse Rose Raos homemade. It's made without sugar, so it has a lot less carbohydrates than a lot of the other sauces that are available. But there are also keto sauces available online if you just want to do that. And then whatever types of toppings you want. If you go more meat heavy, like pepperoni and bacon and sausage, that's going to keep the carbohydrates even lower. If you like things like vegetables, then obviously you're going to add a little bit more carbohydrates. So let's start with a muffin pan. Now you can do a traditional pizza crust, but I don't feel like it's it's as good, so we're just gonna go with the pizza bite method. So much better, I promise you. I don't trust you, big guy. And you wanna decide what types of toppings you want on your pizza. If you go meat heavy, obviously, that's gonna reduce the amount of carbohydrates. If you go vegetable heavy, that's gonna increase the amount of carbohydrates. That's completely up to you how much you're willing to have in the day. I stick to more meats. I prefer pepperoni, bacon, and olive pieces. I know what you're thinking, olive pieces on a pizza? Well, I usually eat this when I'm drinking, and I'm telling you, it's awesome. Don't judge. I wasn't judging you. So you get yourself a muffin pan. You make sure it's greased up really well so nothing sticks to it. If you want to go crust version, then you put a tiny bit of crust in the bottom and press it with your thumb so it fills up the bottom of the muffin sheet. If you don't want to go with crust, then simply put a mix of Parmesan and mozzarella on the very bottom layer. If you do go with the crust, put the crust first, mozzarella and Parmesan on top. Then you're going to add whatever types of fillings you want. Again, I'm going to use pepperoni, bacon, and olive pieces. After all of your ingredients of choice, then you're going to add some sauce and again, Again, you can go as light or heavy as you want. Keep in mind the amount of carbohydrates that are gonna be in your particular sauce of choice. The lower the carbs in that sauce, the more sauce you can put, but you do this to taste. Me? I like the sauce. Then you put another layer of cheese. Again, the mozzarella and Parmesan mixture on top of that. Then I put another layer of toppings. So usually on the very top, I'll just put pepperoni or just bacon, just so it looks kind of nice like a real pepperoni pizza, but it's up to you how crazy you wanna go with your toppings. I'm a psycho. Then you preheat your oven to 450 degrees. You pop those bad boys in there for about 15 to 18 minutes. And here's another important thing. When you take them out, they are pretty much molten lava cheese puddles. What does that mean? Liquid hot magma. Make sure you set it somewhere and don't touch them for a good 10 minutes at least. Let the cheese solidify. If you have the crust, you can take them out a little bit earlier. If you just do the cheese method, you're going to want to make sure that they solidify before you start taking them out of the muffin pan. You think I'm an idiot. So let them sit 10 minutes be patient. Don't tell me what to do. That is hot. Now you pull them out. If you want to dip them in ranch, I prefer like a Primal Kitchen Keto Ranch dressing, which is excellent and low carb. So I dip those bad boys right inside of the ranch and it's the perfect keto snack or meal after you've been drinking. Now this is also really heavy on fat and grease. So they're actually super, super filling. I can usually only eat three or four of these things and these pans hold 12. So you could probably get two nights worth of drinking out of this meal. Nobody can drink that much. And let's talk about reheating. If you reheat, 
reheat them with the crust on them, they stay together much better. But be careful if you reheat them with just the cheese, they are gonna turn into a soggy cheese snack. Again, after you reheat them, let them sit for a few minutes to kind of re-solidify before you try picking them up. But there you go. There's no reason why you can't stay on a ketogenic diet and have really tasty food on a night of drinking. This is what I do. It works for me. I freaking love these things. And I would recommend that you try them out there if you're on the same path as I am. I hope I'm not 